Hello everyone, it's the True Gamer HD, and for the first time I'm here with Raven, and we are going to uh, discuss the newest album from Linkin Park. It's called The Hunting Party, and it's not released yet, but uh, pretty much everyone has it. Yeah, <laughs> it's got it yeah, it's got uh, leaked on uh, the Pirate Bay, so that's why. And, and on websites where you can get leaks and stuff, and on Facebook, lots, yeah. a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. So pretty much a lot of people already heard it. You can even uh, watch this stuff on uh, YouTube as well. Yep. So uh, we are going to, to discuss um, all the songs in, and we're going to talk about how they sound and what we think about it. And after that we will um, choose the best ones and the worst ones and we will criticize those on instrument use, vocals, feeling and effects. The rating is based on four factors, that's uh, vocals, instruments, audio and background effects. So hope you guys enjoy and let's begin with discussing the first song, it's called Keys to the Kingdom, Raven. I, I love that song, it's like one of the heaviest songs they ever did. And it starts out with like kind of a robot voice, but then after that it already starts out very epic. With mic rapping, and after that it's a lot of screaming. Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. It's very epic. Yeah, I also think this uh, song is pretty good. It actually made me uh, a little bit thinking about the first album, Hybrid Theory. It's uh, going some somewhere into that direction. And uh, yeah, I, I really love it because uh, Hybrid Theory and Metoria were one of the best albums from Linkin Park. So yeah, great song. Any um, any comments on that, Raven, on that song? Oh no, I, I think it's just awesome. The, the background music and everything, it's it, it sounds very well. It's a nice intro to the album. Yeah. To, like get, get old fans back and stuff like that. Yep. So the next one is All For Nothing with... No. Uh, a special guest? Paige, Paige uh, Hilton, something. Yeah, Paige Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, she does, she or he, I don't know if it's he or she, <laughs> <laughs> if it's he or she, but uh, he does the vocals, and yeah, the vocals are very good. It actually sounds a lot like punk rock, but a little bit in another direction, and yeah, the, the rapping from uh, Mike Shinoda are, is just amazing, very fast rapping, I love it. And uh, yeah, a very, very good quality song, it's, it's actually a lot like Linkin Park used to make back in the days. Also, uh, Paige Hilton kind of sounds like Linkin Park in the song, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's a perfect uh, guy Combination. For, uh, for this uh, song. So yeah. let's move on to Guilty All the Same with Rakim. That's the first single they <laughs> released, and uh, yeah. I, I don't really like it. it, it it's decent. I, I, it's just fine. But, but it's it's also got like already released on the Living Things, right? Yeah, but I, I just didn't really like it. It was easy made and yeah. the beats easy made, and the first it was like an intro of yeah. one minute, twenty yeah. seconds. And like Rackham kinda wrote the song for me. I don't, I don't know, I just don't like him. Yeah, it's it's just um, Guilty All The Same is, is a song where it starts out with a very long instrumental. And I I think I understand why they did that, because Linkin Park wants to um, uh, tell the feeling of the guitars, you know, the electric guitars. They want to, to give you that feeling of what they used to make um, when they, uh, when the album The Hyper Theory was released and I think this uh, song is very good but it's a little bit over the top with too much um, instrumental if they started out the voice a lot e earlier then uh, it would be a lot better we're going now to do the summoning so um, it's just a one minute song only instrumentals and it's pretty cool it's just um, quite well thing that makes it that, that gives some uh, yeah. some other effects to the album itself it's uh, a transition. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's not a song that you're gonna listen to in your free time over and over. It's just no. Something, it's just something uh, cool on the album itself. Yeah, I need to say something on that because uh, the song itself is pretty, pretty messy. A lot of um, sounds and guitars um, are going into each other, and it's very busy uh, sound. It's a very busy sound, and. Um, but I still uh, like uh, the Chester, like the voice of Chester is changing from um, very good to uh, bad, so that's pretty good, actually. 
I mean like with with uh, distortion effects, but okay. So um, let's move, let's on, move to on to War. This track oh. is awesome, isn't yeah. it, Raven? It's probably the heaviest song they ever done. Yeah. It, it's just full of screams. Well, given uh, up. It, it's awesome. Yeah. It, 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 this one has like eight seconds or something. A scream. I don't know. Yeah. Give, given up is eighteen seconds, which is yeah, it, a, it, a lot more. But but um, the war is still very awesome. I love the screams. The beat in the background is also very cool. Yeah. Um, Same. It's just a very cool song. The one thing I don't understand is like the ending of the song. Yeah, yeah, it got so, <laughs> it got such a weird sound. <laughs> it's, it's like a dog getting raped. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? And and all these songs like um, until it's gone also got uh, those. Uh, I don't know why they put it in it, but maybe it's something to create a, a crazy um, psycho feeling or something. I don't know, but. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well, it's uh, pretty the fun. Is, the song itself is just awesome. It's probably my, one of my favorites on the album. Great. That's great. So um, let's go on to Wastelands. Yeah, Wastelands. I'm going to that's, be talking that's about the, this. Uh, oh, third yeah. Release. Yeah, it's such a good song. It's just about um, about oh. Wastelands, about the whole world going to um, fade away and. Um, you need to survive, otherwise, uh, yeah, that kind of thing. And it's just the song itself, the feeling of the song. It's so yeah. angry and hot, just like when there's a real wasteland. So it's a pretty good uh, song. The rapping f um, from Mike Shinoda is just amazing. It's just some very good words in it. Very um, good explain it. No uh, weird kind of uh, raps because he did uh, had some weird raps in the past. Yeah. John with no yoko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's the only thing that I still don't understand. But yeah. I need to find out on Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and thing. also one thing I should mention is the amazing transition between Wastelands and Until It's Gone because it goes like from a very very uh, low uh, volume uh, uh, yeah uh, beat. Uh, 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 to tum 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 yeah, that, that kind of uh, <laughs> yeah to, to, until it's gone uh, the transition is just amazing it's so smooth so I love it they did a pretty good yeah. job on that and now let's move on to until it's gone what do you think that's probably one of your favorite songs yeah <laughs> I love the uh, soft I, I songs I think it's decent uh, um, it has a lot of emotion to it which yeah. is cool I love emotion some, 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 some good meaning to it yeah. But I think the song itself is just easy written. E even though it's a good song and emotion, uh, everything and stuff like that, it's still easy easy written. Where it's kind of boring. Yeah, to to. it's it's just that Chester is not using a lot of tones. He just stays with until it's gone. He does not like yeah, go up or down like he does in other songs. But what I really really think is very weird is at the end uh, when the song has uh, stopped, you will hear um, some. And then you went <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it's such a weird uh, baby laugh or something. I don't know why they put it in. But Just like a key to the kingdom. Yeah. Like at the end. Yeah, but maybe it's because until it's gone, like um, something with the baby. On, I don't know. We we will uh, eventually get to hear it from the band self I think. Yeah. So let's move on to the next hard song. It's called Rebellion. <laughs> yeah. So. This song is just so hard and just like uh, War, it's just the song has very good guitar charts, uh, a lot of distortion in it. It's it's definitely uh, something like Hybrid Theory and Metoria definitely comes into that direction, and yeah. I really love it. It's like this is actually what Linkin Park actually want to make. You can hear it in the in the song itself that this is what uh, Linkin Park uh, is good in. Like yeah. they they uh, shine at this aspect of of all the albums that came out because originally they are just like metal no rock bands making metal. yeah that kind of thing and so yeah I love it a lot it's and also I love the rapping from uh, Mike. yeah Mike it's just amazing again because his rapping is just a lot a lot different from all the other ones like Eminem. And all those other because he just uh, pronounced everything so good and in a beat, uh, yeah, it's just great. Yeah. But what do you need? What do you say um, about Rebellion? Uh, I really love the song. I love the scream at the end, and uh, I really love the voice of Mike. 
Yeah. Um, he, he sings with a very nice voice. He, he like sings more in this one. Yeah. And, uh, I love how Jester uh, sings Rebellion. So it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Very nice. So now I'll move on to number nine. It's Mark the Graves. So yeah. I love that song. It is very cool. It starts with heavy instrumentals, but then it, then it goes like softly, which is very nice. Uh, I love the combination. Yeah. And I also love the soft voice of Chester in this one because yeah. the, the vocals are just. Um, it's like Until It's Gone got mixed up with, uh, with Rebellion, but just adding a little bit more soft to it, and then you will get this kind of song. And it's just a very good song with um, a lot of hard, uh, like angry parts in it, but also with some emotional parts. So, yeah, I love it a lot, and um, a very good song, actually. So uh, let's move on to, to number Zyber. 10, the Downy from the album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one is just, sorry uh, for saying it, but I hate it. It's uh, just, it's it's like um, they put Adele into the chair, making a piano song and putting in uh, the one from Rage Against the Machines and just doing some chords. It's just an instrumental version. I don't know why they even put it in it, because it's just, it's, it, it doesn't even have vocals. But the, the thing is, they want to just create like uh, some more effects and emotion to the album. And, yeah. Uh, I, I think they should have like made, made those songs like a little bit shorter. Yeah. Like and in, uh, in it's, songs. it's also very boring. Just I have listened to it on my bicycle and I was like almost sleeping. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I almost got run over by a car. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, yes. <laughs> Don't, don't listen to the song while you're on the bicycle, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can better listen to more on the bicycle. Yeah, better listen to like, um, go the other same because this song is so, <laughs> it makes it so uh, dangerous on the road. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's move on to Final Masquerade. Or how yeah. Raver call it, Final <laughs> Masturbate. <laughs> um, yeah. This song is... It, it, it was leaked like... Uh, yeah. A, a, a little while ago, just out, out of nowhere, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's it's, it's very soft. There's a lot of emotions to it, but it also and has I, some I, hard I really parts. Like it. it has uh, one thing that I like about this album is that uh, all the songs have like those guitars that they use in the Hypertory and Metoria, and that's just one of the things that I just clearly like about this album. It's going back to where they where they were like shining in uh, when Metoria and the Hypertory came out. So, yeah, and yeah, Final Masquerade is another great example for uh, a great Linkin Park song, and actually uh, not a Linkin Park song that you have seen in A Thousand Songs and Midnight. Yeah. They, they like to like the soft uh, songs and yeah. like medium songs, heavy songs, uh, it's, so everyone can enjoy it. Yeah. Like Living Things was like only soft, so not many people liked it because yeah. it was soft. So, yeah. And here we have some soft ones, some hard ones, so it's, it's a pretty good um, ba balance between each other. Yeah, they want to get a lot of old fans back. Yeah. Also, one thing is that Hybrid Theory sold over 50 million times. Yeah. So, so like, I can't understand why they want some old fans back. Yeah, because, yeah, the, um, I think Linkin Park is one of the most be uh, best uh, metal bands the, of the it's century. It's pretty much everything. They have yeah. pop, rap, rock, metal, oh, pop, yeah. it's pretty much everything. Okay, so now we go to your favorite and final one. It's a line in the sand. Tell about uh, it because you love it. So. Uh, it, 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 it starts out very softly, which is kind of cool. A very long intro with a good emotional feel to it, and then eventually we'll hear Mike singing like slow, and then eventually out of nowhere you, you, there comes like an heavy beat. And uh, you will hear Chester screaming, kind of like in Keys of the Kingdom. It's it's very cool. But one thing that I notice is that, that when he's screaming, it kind of sounds like exactly the same, like in Guilty or the same. Like if you would yeah. play it at the same time, you would have it like you would say the words at the exact same time. So like, you know, it's a great song and everything. I feel like like they copied a lot of stuff. Yeah, but still a lot. Yeah, I mean uh, the chords from A Line in the Sand are from Guilty or the Same, right? Yeah. yeah. Also, in Wastelands, it's also kind of the same, like. Uh, yeah. Also yeah. Like I think. Same, yeah. yeah. I think it's because of uh, maybe the guitars. Like uh, I have, um, um, yeah, written on Wikipedia that um, the guitar, the guitarist of Linkin Park, had a lot of um, like trouble and a lot of. Um, 
time to um, make the chores because he have never like did uh, that kind of chores. So that's maybe why they copied it. But now also maybe they didn't, they didn't have much time. Yes. Also, but, but yeah, yeah. Also, one thing they, they were, now they want to release a new album every 15 months. So uh, like every album. Oh my god, that's awesome. Every year and a half, half you will gather like a new album, which is pretty cool because usually yeah. it would be like. Years or yeah, like like Eminem, he took like 11 years to <laughs> to make an album. Yeah, I know. Recovery came out in 2000, and it's now 2013, uh, and then he came out with uh, the Martial Matters LP2. And yeah, that's just bad. Yeah, I know, but he is in a lot of he was in a lot of drugs and. Yeah. Oh well. So my my um opinion about the line in the sand. It's a great song. It has soft parts, has hard parts. It's, it's just a great uh, song for every Link Park fan. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the overall, I think it's the, one of the best albums yeah. they ever made. Uh, I love the screams in it. It's just a lot of, that, of old fans will go back, but still a lot of new fans will also enjoy all the, all the songs and stuff like soft songs. Yeah. But it's also just very cool to listen to. It's like a lot of combinations. Uh, it's just awesome. Even um, just the song itself, like Lion in the Sand, has like soft but also heavy. Like, yep. It's just a co combination of epicness. Um, so now we are going to talk about uh, your best songs and your worst songs of the album. So please tell it, you can choose like three songs or more and three words, um, so say it. My favorite songs are pretty much uh, A Lion in the Sand, Peace to the Kingdom and War. And also I really like All for Nothing. Okay. And my worst songs are pretty much Guilty All the Same. And yeah. You, you, cannot really, you, you cannot really count those as songs because. Drawbar! Yeah, you, you cannot really count those okay. as songs because they're just yeah. singing it. But I think I, I really don't like Guilty All the Same. It's not that bad, but it's, it's yeah. not good either. It's, it's too long. No. Yeah, but also, like, it's, it's just not good made. Like, no. Nope. So, uh, my best songs of this album, The Hunting Party, are Wastelands, Until It's Gone, and. and. I also like Final Masquerade a lot. And Rebellion. The reason why is because I am more of a uh, Linkin Park soft fan. I, I kind of like the screaming though, but I'm more like the parts where Chester sings very softly, so. Uh, Until it's gone is my favorite. Uh, Wastelands, of course, the vibe of everything. I just love it. And Rebellion, yeah, I, I just love the, so uh, the song the song because of the <laughs> because of the rapping and everything. It's just so well made. Uh, they did put a lot of effort in it. And the final one, Final Masquerade, is uh, just one of those songs that you that uh, could be like released on the Hybrid Theory album because it's kind of like uh, my December from Hybrid Theory. Yeah. So it, it's clearly my uh, final conclusion about this uh, Hunting Party album is the vocals are perfect, quality of the sound is just amazing, um, the background effects uh, really tell a story and really showing the emotions like the angry uh, angriness of uh, the band, also the instruments, the electric guitars, everything is just great, it just fits perfectly into the songs and that's why um, I think I give this one uh, 8 out of 10. Yeah, uh, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. It, it, it would be 10 out of 10 if they <laughs> made those songs a little bit shorter, like yeah. drawbar and stuff. And go the same. Um, if they, if they've uh, like put in vocals on drawbar and such. Yeah, um, yeah. also I think this, this album is like a combination of Hyper Theory and um, um, A Thousand Sons, like with all, all the sort of no, not really. No? Victoria was more like fast paced rock, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. It was a lot faster. Well, I uh, can see I until it's gone a little bit like numb, but okay. Well, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I heard some people saying it too, but uh. Oh well. Yeah. So. That was it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of The Hunting Party. Uh, this album comes out on the 8th. 14th. 14th. Oh. 14th. Uh, I, I see <laughs> Every yeah. time it's like different, so it's uh, like, no, we're gonna release really yeah. no, 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 tomorrow, no, no. <laughs> so it's going to be the four, 14th of, Jul of June, uh, June, no, June? No, 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 I guess it was like the same. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't care. It's coming out this June. And <laughs> this week or next week. And it's going to be an awesome album. So if you enjoy Lincoln Park and you enjoy them, please support them by buying this album. Or you could be a pirate like us and do R and then go to Pirate Bay and download totally the album. It's, it's totally worth buying though. Yeah, it's just amazing. So, hope you guys enjoy it. And this was an experimental video. So, if this video gets like 30 likes, I will make more album reviews of other Linkin Park albums, maybe. So, hope you guys enjoy it. And That's see you guys. Sure. Yeah, this Wait, is Raven uh, and the True Game HD. And we see you guys next time. Bye bye. Dag. Rebellion.